Greetings and salutations everyone, this is No Code Gaming, and I'd like to welcome you back to another Master Duel video, another Extra Zero Festival video, and yet another Dragon Maid video. Yes, I am bringing Dragon Maid to, to the Extra Zero Festival, and in this case it's more of a Dragon Maid beatdown deck than it is a Dragon Maid control deck. So, do keep that in mind when you are playing this deck. And without further ado, let's get on to the cards themselves. So, to start off, we have the low level Dragon Maids. Each of the level 2 Dragon Maids at the start of the battle phase can trade out with a level 7 Dragon Maid in your graveyard or in your hand. The level 3 Dragon Maids are able to trade out with a level 8 Dragon Maid in your graveyard or hand, and the level 4 Dragon Maid, Chamber Dragon Maid, can trade out with either a level 7 or higher Dragon Maid monster in your hand or graveyard. So let's start off with the lower level Dragon Maids. Nurse Dragon Maid. On a normal or special summon, they are able to resurrect a level 4 or lower Dragon Maid from your graveyard. Laundry Dragon Maid on normal or special summon can mill three cards off the top of your deck. Kitchen Dragon Maid can search out any Dragon Maid monster, add it to your hand, and you are forced to discard a Dragon Maid monster afterwards. Parlor Dragon Maid is able to send any Dragon Maid card from deck to graveyard, and Chamber Dragon Maid is able to search out any Dragon Maid spell or trap card from your deck and add it to your hand. Now for the higher level Dragon Maids, we have Dragon Maid Ernest is able to be discarded from hand in order to special summon a level 4 or lower Dragon Maid monster from your hand. Uh, it also has the effect of when it uh, is on the field and battle phase is ended, you can trade it out with a level 2 Dragon Maid monster from your hand. Dragon Maid Nudjarl, you are able to discard this card, shuffle any card from any graveyard back into the deck, and it trades out with any level 2 Dragon Maid in your hand at the end of the battle phase. Dragon Maid Tin Heck has the effect of Quick Effect. You can discard this card and target a Dragon Maid monster on the field. That monster gains 2,000 attack, and at the end of the battle phase it is able to trade out with a level 3 Dragon Maid in your hand. And the last high level Dragon Maid, Dragon Maid Lore Par is able to be discarded, and you can target one face-up monster on the field. That monster's effects cannot be activated until end of turn. This is different than having their effects negated. So if it's a passive effect, like Venkay, uh, Lore Par will not be able to negate that effect. And let's get on to the spells and traps for this uh, deck. We have Dragon Maid Hospitality. You are able to special summon a Dragon Maid monster from hand or GY in defense. And then you can send a Dragon Maid monster with the same attribute but different level from your deck to the GY. You can only activate one Hospitality per turn. We also have one of the main cards that's normally not included in Dragon Maid decks, Dragon Maid Welcome. All monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense for each Dragon Maid monster you control. And if you control two or more Dragon Maid monsters, you can target any Dragon Maid card in your GY, except for Welcome, and add it back to your hand. This card allows you to recycle some of your smaller Dragon Maids should they end up in Graveyard, and it also allows you to recycle your spells and traps should you so wish. And speaking of traps, Dragon Maid Tidying. This card is when it's activated on the field, you can target one dragon monster you control and any card your opponent controls or that's in their GY and return both to hand. So you can return one of your dragons back to hand and return any problematic card on your opponent's side of the field back to the hand. It has a secondary effect where you can banish it from the graveyard to special summon a dragon maid from the GY or from your hand. And the last Dragon Maid specific card, Dragon Maid Downtime. You can target one Dragon Maid monster you control and either search out a Dragon Maid card and add it to your uh, hand from the deck, or you can bounce back any spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field. 
Regardless of what effect you choose, the Dragon Maid monster you targeted at the start of this effect is returned to hand. So you can actually use this to protect a Dragon Maid monster you would rather not be destroyed. And now for the Dragon support cards, we have Dragunity Arma Gram. This is the finisher card in case my Dragon Maids get uh, destroyed and it's harder to recover. What this card is able to do is you can special summon this card from hand or GY by banishing two dragons from the GY. I don't say winged beast because this deck is not running any winged beast. And once per turn, you can target one face up monster. Its effects are negated. Also it loses 1000 attack for each equip card you control. And when a opponent's monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the GY, you can equip it to this card. So it's a good uh, check to ensure that none of your opponent's cards ends up in GY if you do not want them there. We also have Dragon Shrine, which is basically a foolish burial for dragon monsters. And Return of the Dragon Lords. This is here for special summoning and as well as destruction protection for your dragons. As if a dragon monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your GY instead. And now for some generic tech cards. We have Harpy's Feather Duster, Cosmic Cyclone, and Forbidden Droplet as ways of removal and negation. And we also are running Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, as well as Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring is there to help prevent any deck searches or any sh shenanigans like that. And Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit actually had quite a few um, cards in this event. Looking at you, Ben K, and Blow Wonderies, and Adventure. Anyways, let's get on to the replay. Extra zero Dragon Maids, let's go. So, opening hand, we have Kitchen. Just going to activate Kitchen and get a parlor send parlor to grave because of kitchen and we activate hospitality this allows us to get parlor and we are going to send an earnest as well the better play here would have been instead of sending an earnest from parlor's effect instead we send a tin heck but that was me misclicking And they simply put down a face down, and we can go from there. Just Harpy's Feather Duster to ensure that's nothing uh, egregious. Magic Cylinder. Arm Sun Parlor. Sent in Heck this time. And then we trade out our two attack position monsters for Tin Heck and for Parlor, respectively. And go in for about 5,400. And I add a chamber. And it's a Ben OTK deck. So, here's the main reason I've been bringing Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. They have to activate Noble Arms of Clarent in order to attack me directly. However, that direct attack effect is negated if the Noble Arms is no longer equipped. So, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, putting in work. And then, of course, they can attack twice. I discard Tin Heck to reduce the amount of battle damage I could take. And they destroy two of my cards. Which is fine. So in retaliation, I just play chamber. I could have just normal summon chamber here and build a better wall, but let's see they're near nor there. I use chamber to get tidying and then bounce back the Mataza to hand. Yes. And then pot of duality, just ash blossom that. And and the turn. All they can really do is just set the card. Uh, 
And there we go. Dragon Maids against one of the most prominent decks in the event right now, Ben OTK. As you can see, pack a snow rabbit and uh, yeah, get to work. It is, in my opinion, one of the best investments you can uh, make right now with crafting points. So at least make one or two of those. So overall, how do I feel about this deck? It is rather consistent. However, I feel like the other custom decks would probably get a better one up on it. I just like playing Dragon Maids. It's my jam. Any improvements or changes I would suggest making to this deck, uh, maybe make it a 60 card deck and include a Chaos Engine. So we can go uh, Chaos Dragon Maids. That is a rather large investment, however, and I don't recommend doing that if you are just making that deck for this event. Any other improvements I would make? Well, you can actually change out some of these cards, like Dragoonity Arma is just here to be a big beater and to ensure that cards do not end up in Graveyard when I don't want them to, like in cases of uh, Eldlich. Anyways, like if you like the video, subscribe if you so desire. Have a great rest of your day. If you are wondering about the list, it is in the description below. And as usual, any cards marked with a asterisk, I find core to the deck.